How are you, my friends? In this video, I'm presenting lecture 29 of the algebra course. In this video, we will get information from the graphs like domain, range, images, x-intercept, y-intercept. Uh, please, if you want to see any other lecture in this uh, course, you can visit the playlist algebra course lectures. Now, these are the objectives. You can just read, please. Now, domain and range. Suppose we have this red graph here. Nice method, I will teach you how to find the domain easily just by looking. Take the graph here, you see the red graph here, try to press it. You know the word press, press it on the x-axis. So you press it on the x-axis, it will be this line here. So it will cover all these values of the x that is the domain closed from A to B. If one of them is open, we say open. Now we go back to the graph, same graph. Press it, press it on the Y. You see on the Y here, it becomes like a straight line. So in this straight line, we need the values of the Y. That is the range from C to D. Always smaller number to bigger number smaller number to bigger number. If one of them is open, it depends. We see open, right? We open. If it is closed, we say closed. So just remember the pressing method. Let's apply it so many times. Find the domain and range from this graph. Okay, let's press it now. Can you expect? Press this graph here on the x-axis. What does it cover? See, the, the, the region, the line, the points, the numbers, it will cover. So here, it will cover the minus two to two. That is the domain closed, see? Now, if you press it on the Y, it will cover from zero only to two positive numbers. That is the range. So the domain minus two to two and the range zero to two. That's simple. Another one. Oh, we have a big graph here. This is a graph like this. And then this is another two pieces here. So this is the graph of a function F. We need the domain, the range F of minus six, F of seven, the image of five, X intercept, Y intercept, if there is any. Let's see. Domain. Let's go to the pressing, please. Press it on the X. See, just imagine this line will go to infinity, minus infinity on the other side. So it will cover from minus infinity until zero here, open. Union, there is a gap here. Press this on the X, it will cover from two to five. Open two, closed five, like that. Now let's see the range. Press it on the Y, it will cover from here, from minus two up all to infinity. Now let me explain only one of these, F of minus six. F of minus six, the same meaning as image of five. So I take minus six in the X here, and then I go in the graph, see this is two. So F of minus six is two. F of seven, I go to seven here. Seven, oh, there is no point there, there's no graph. So this is undefined. We continue like that. So the domain now from minus infinity, to zero open union, two open to five closed. That's the domain. The range will be from minus two, the minimum value in the Y until infinity. F of minus six, as I said there, F of minus six is two. F of seven is undefined. There's no point at seven. F of three, go to F of five, I mean here, it is three. X intercept, only this number. This is not considered X intercept at the origin, minus four, zero. No y-intercept for this one. Now I will make another change in this question. I will call it example three. See, can you see that? I put the, the constant here, I put it below, below the x. What will happen here? Let's find the domain, let's find the range, let's find f of five. Now see, f of five, we have to go down because the graph is down. Before it was a little up. 
Now, what will be changing here? The domain is the same, still minus infinity to zero open union two to five. You can just read it clearly, please. Uh, and the range now, the range from minus two, you see, minus two to infinity, but there is another point here. All these values, if you press it on the Y, it will be minus three. So minus three is one number in the Y union, all the other Y's minus two to infinity. Also F of five is minus three down here before it was three. Now I will change another thing here in example three, make it an example four. I will make it a line. So the part below the X is not constant just a straight line, oblique line. Let's find the domain, the range f of five. Now f of five is different here. f of five, we go down, it will be, it looks like minus six. See, f of five is minus six. Now the domain stays the same here, two open, five closed, domain is the same in three questions. The range will change. See, the range now will start. If you press this on the y, it will be minus six, until minus three. Minus three open, minus six closed. Union, the other part from minus two until infinity. And then as I mentioned, f of five will be minus six. Now another one, we have a graph here. This is a temperature function. Let's find t of one, t of three, t of five. t of one, so this is one here. T of one will be like 20, 30, 25. T of three, T of five. This is easy to read. Which is larger, T of two or T of four? So T of two is go there and T of four. See, T of two is bigger on the, on the temperature uh, scale there. So I will leave this one just for reading. Maybe I want to mention here, find the net change in temperature from 1 p.m. That's the time here in hours, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., 1 to 3. See, we need the net change. I explained the net change. Okay, so this is B. The graph is higher at 2. There is T of 2 is larger, and we mentioned that. Now, T of X is equal to 25 when X is 1 or 4. So we can have two times for the same temperature. T greater than or equal to 25 between closed interval 1 to 4. Now the net change, we need the net change in temperature is T of 3 minus T of 1. I explained in the lecture, net change will be F of B minus F of A. So 30 minus 25, this will be 5 degrees from 1 to 3. Now, we need to look at where or when, from where to where X function is increasing or decreasing. See, just look at this graph here, nice graph. Increasing from left to right, remember, from left to right. The function rises, increasing from A to B, but we take this A on the X, this B, and we write it in open interval. So F is increasing, on A to B, see this is A to B. And then increasing again from this C to this D. We don't take the value where the function increases to. We take the X values. Remember please guys. So we say F is increasing on the X values on the X axis. F is decreasing, decreasing here. See it's, the graph is going down, falling down from B to C, open interval. So we can have two intervals, we can have three, we can have four. We see nice question now, example six. Look at this graph. It says where the graph increases, decreases, or constant sometimes we have. So there is no change in the Y. See, when we say where the graph, it means what? Find the interval on X axis. All this, it means the word where. Please read it. One time, two times. Find also the domain and the range. So we see here on the X, this is the X here, minus four, starting there until minus two. See the function here rises from left, remember, from left to right, it goes up. 
So that's increasing from minus four to minus two. So I'm explaining that the answer here. F increases on minus four to minus two, decreases from this number until one. See the whole graph decreases. We don't mention minus six, no. We say from minus two to one, constant. See the constant from this number to this number, one to five. Now, if you need the domain, go back to pressing idea. Press it from minus four, closed, until five open, all of it. Press it on the X. The range, press it on the Y. It will be from minus six, closed, until three, also closed, because that's closed here. Now, good question. I said here, good question, example seven. Graph each function and then find the domain and the range. Almost the same function with a little change here. Look at the function, f of x is equal x squared minus one. We know that, I think. This is y, f of x is y. x squared means like a parabola. This is also the same parabola, but we have a condition. Minus two less than x less than or equal to three, that means we take part of the parabola between minus two and three. We need the domain and range in each question. I will show you the first one, please, quickly. This is a complete parabola. How do you know parabola? Because of the x squared. x squared and here we have y. So I can just take some points. See, the domain is r here. We know the domain is r. So I take minus two, replace it in the x, I get three. So I put the point there. Put minus one there, I get zero. Put zero there, I get minus one. Put one, I get zero. Put two. See, the graph is there, complete parabola. The, the domain, ordinary numbers and the range, it will start from minus one, closed, that's the lower point, to infinity. Can you figure out this one, please? Domain and the range. Now I can tell you a little trick here. The domain is given, see this is the domain now. Since we have a condition, directly we can say this is the domain. Open minus two to close three. Minus two to three, so we need from here, from minus two, you see minus two, until three. We need only this part. Look at the graph, oh boy, oh boy. From minus two, open. See, I take minus two, replace it there, see? Minus two squared, four minus one, three. Open at x equals minus two, because x cannot be minus two, it's open. But we put it here to find the point where the graph will start. So it will start open at minus two here. Then it will go until three closed, three closed becomes eight. Now, if you press it, see this is the pressing here, the yellow. Press it on the X. I'm, I told you, that you can get the domain from pressing or from the condition. So that is the domain. You see, minus two, open to three, close. That's the domain. That's the domain, the given, the condition. Now, if you press it on the Y, it will be from minus one until eight, closed. That is the range. So this is part part of a parabola. That's the points here we need. Now another, graph the function, find the domain and the range. f of x, one over x squared plus three. For sure here, we know that we cannot accept zero in the domain because if you put one over zero undefined, we cannot accept zero. We can accept any other number. Try some numbers there. So I tried some numbers. Remember, x cannot be zero. So directly we can say domain or real numbers except zero. Take some values here, x minus two, x minus one, x minus half, replace it in the function. Take x equal half, x equals one, x equals two, replace it in the function. You see the graph is like this. So the graph goes here below, above the three. See, three point something. So the graph will be above the three, but does not touch the three. So we say the range is three open, which is above the three to infinity up here. You press it on the Y, does not 
does not touch the, the three. Three open until infinity. Now here are some uh, old exams questions, different graphs. Look at here, this is a function f, find the domain, find the range, find f of minus a. Uh, review the other examples, eight examples. Another graph here, very important. A, B, C, D, E, F, many questions where the graph is increasing, decreasing. Uh, another one also, where is the graph above the X, below the X? This is question number four, where we have the function F of X is equal X minus absolute value of X. Graph it, take some points, check the absolute value, find the domain and range, and answer where the graph is increasing. Now, number five, we have a nice function, f of x is equal to six minus x squared. That's a parabola. We have a condition there. The domain, I called it a to b, and then the range c to d. Find a times b plus c times d. I think we have done similar example like this, which was example number seven in the lecture. Now, question number six, also another function f of x is equal x over absolute value of x. Try to check the conditions on the x, graph it, find the domain and the range. And as usual, here you can find all the answers, the final answers of the six questions. We have many parts here, so I put some colors so that I make it easy on you. This is question one, this is question two, this is question three, four. It will go there, five, only this line here, a times b plus c times d, this is five, and this is the graph of the five. All this down is the six, the graph, domain, and range. Now, if you need to see the complete solution of these questions or to compare your answers, please see the video, all the exams questions, get information from the graph. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friend. Just to remind you, please, this is lecture 29 of the algebra course. I wish I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you very much for listening, guys.